Hello everyone. So let's see the first memory management technique. The first memory management technique is contiguous memory allocation. Contiguous memory allocation. Okay. So contiguous means uh, we provide uh, a certain pro process to continuous space. Okay. So process is a uh, particularly uh, seated or uh, particularly stored at a continuous place of storage okay so in this contiguous memory allocation the first one is fixed partitioning fixed partition so we have to partition the memory in a fixed manner okay so let's look at the example let's say we have uh, this uh, what i call main memory and uh, in main memory the some of the space is occupied by the operating system why some of the space is occupied by the operating system whenever you start a, a computer or, or your laptop then the some time is required to boot the operating system so so booting is generally done uh, using the main memory or RAM and after that we have to partition the main memory in a fixed uh, manner fixed manner means let's say uh, this is a uh, two this is a two mb of a space we have to fix it and let's say this is one mb of a space okay and let's say this is three mb of a space and this is five mb of a space okay and let's say we have one more space called 10 mb of a space okay so as you assume that the memory is partitioned into fixed uh, manner okay and each partition is having some size like uh, 2 mb 1 mb 3 mb 5 mb 10 mb like that okay and whenever some process let's say process p1 or process p2 process p3 wants to run then these processes are occupied in this fixed space okay so let's say process p1 have size 1 mb process p2 have size uh, 2 mb so it will allocate it in this 3 mb space and process p3 has size let's say 5 mb okay so it will allocate it this in this space or let's say it will allocate either in this one or in this one if the space is available here then it will allocate this in uh, in this particular space otherwise it will allocate it to that portion now what happened because of fixed partitioning the space let's say it occupied 1 mb of space okay 1 mb of space and this 1 mb this 1 mb is generally vacant or you can say it is free but no other process would use this vacant space why because we have to partition the memory in a fixed manner and only one process can occupy the one fixed uh, space okay and because of this vacant uh, space let's say here 2 mb here also 1 mb of space is occupied 2 mb of space is occupied and this 1 mb is free similarly here 5 mb is occupied and this 5 mb is free and no other process uh, would use this uh, vacant space or free space and because of that we have uh, one more one problem occurred called internal fragmentation so internal fragmentation is happened because some space is vacant due to the due to the not proper uh, filling of the particular fixed partition so here process p1 takes 1 mb but 1 mb is uh, free here process p2 takes 2 mb and 1 mb is free here process p3 takes 5 mb but 5 mb is free so this is called internal fragmentation problem and if let's say here process p4 uh, uh, fill the space and let's say by uh, putting all this free space here 1 mb here 1 mb here 5 mb here 2 mb all this uh, free space together uh, make a sufficient space for a new process let's say process p5 process p5 has a size let's say 5 mb and if you uh, sum up this free space at the random places then 
this free space uh, will be five total five MB and process P5 also requires five MB but you cannot uh, split the process P5 and make it uh, one MB here and two MB here and five MB here and this particular uh, all the free space together if they avail, uh, avail this uh, to take process P5 but uh, we cannot uh, split the process into various parts so that the uh, particular parts will fit it here and this problem is generally called as external fragmentation so if you sum up the different random uh, free space and uh, the new process uh, have the same size which uh, available here free space and we cannot uh, put this uh, new process into the splitted uh, free space then this problem is called external fragmentation external fragmentation okay so you got it what is a uh, fixed partitioning in, fi in fixed partitioning memory is generally uh, partitioned into various fixed uh, space okay and it is uh, throughout the uh, throughout the uh, allocation of the processes this fixed partition is uh, constant okay and whenever some process wants uh, wants to run by the cpu uh, then the processes would be allocated in this space and if some space is vacant after allocation the allocation of the process then that problem would be called internal fra fragmentation and if the if you sum up all the remaining vacant spaces still you uh, do not uh, put the process uh, so that it will run the it will run its completion then it is called as external fragmentation okay and here also one more problem is limitation on process size so if after fixed uh, after fixing the partition in constant manner then some uh, li uh, some process of bigger size would not fit into the fixed partition and some process of a smaller size also would not fit into the uh, fixed partitioning okay so limitation of uh, process size is also uh, occurred here so these three problems are the main problem of fixed partitioning in contiguous memory allocation okay so we have to move some other method so that these problems would be resolved okay so that's why in the next video we will see the other approach in uh, memory management technique